crazy. It's free. If we get to thirty-five dollars, uh, then that's top three payout. So let's go. So getting into this game, you already know what I'm looking for. This is a very good stage too. A lot of them are good, but um, definitely just gonna be seeing, you know, Bayonetta not want to interact, and the kind of reason is just because, you know. When Bayonetta is choosing to kind of stay more grounded and not really approach Zelda, it actually becomes really harder for Zelda to do anything because you'll see how much of a harder time she just stops, you know, um, doing anything because if she dash attacks on shield, that's a nut be right there. You know, if Bayo does anything on shield, then it's going to be like a, a mountain to climb because, you know, she just kind of ooh, oh can God. get destroyed. Can we talk about that zero to death though? Like, like Air, Air Swimmer was just playing so reserved, and every single punish, and not now this is what you call a good punish game. Every single punish that Air Swimmer got was just for 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 a reason, right? All these moves are purposeful, and uh, right now we might wow, we might get, we might see two stops mm. with only three percent. Hello. Jazzy? Jazzy Mike? <laughs> uh, well, okay, so see, what happens is that when Bayo, you know, she kind of gets impatient and she kind of just does things that are very unsafe on shield. She has absolutely nothing in this game that she has. None of her moves are safe on shield. So when you kind of get impatient and you kind of just do these things and kind of just start approaching very weirdly, this is this is what happens when you do that. You can, you can kind of just get bodied and even zero to death for just pushing buttons. Yeah, and, and Eric Swimmer is just blitzing, blitzing um, Tay right now, and and it just it just seems like Tay just not ready for some of these mix up. And Air Swimmer, Air Air Swimmer, every time Air Swimmer has put out a knight at the ledge when Tay Juice was there, has been a different mix up. Air Swimmer, okay, Air Swimmer just did four different mix ups in those every sing, every single time. Air Swimmer summoned a knight, did not do the same thing twice, did not do the same thing twice. Four different knights, four different approach options. That is, that's pretty good. <laughs> so this is also kind of a good part on Air Swimmer's um, stage choices because you can actually see how much, you know, space that knight controls. So it actually becomes a little bit harder for Bayo to really do anything because like she's already at center stage and, you know, knight just counts, like um, covers all of that space right there. So. Yeah, honestly, like it just becomes a like kind of point where it's just like, how do you get back to stage and how do you just, you know, kind of stay alive long enough to be able to, you know, do any amount of damage to Zelda. Yeah. So, yeah. And, yeah. And wow. When you talk about emotional advantages, um, I feel like that three stock was like talking about emotional advantage, like that was like a pretty convincing three stock you know um let's see what we can do on ps2 what do you think of this uh, stage kind of pick so a lot of the stages are good as long as you have enough space um you can actually do a lot of things in this matchup it's just a, a, a just a matter of you being able to try your best to not interact with zelda as much as possible because she has this big knight that kind of just protects her and a lot of things that Bayo can do so you know, being able to kind of just kind of combo Zelda and kind of take care of her and just make sure that she like doesn't want to do anything. Oh, that was so yeah. sad, but yeah. yeah. Just like it we have, have Big Carson and we have um we have um bigger older brother Knight. Yeah, definitely using um which time a lot more than Teju should really be using that move. Um and yeah. Um that's kind of a lot of things that you see a lot of babies do because it's just like, why wouldn't I witch time this, you know, big phantom knight that can just kill me? But it's honestly, this is like how a lot of Zeldas will catch you. Ooh. Yeah, and um, that was a call out. Wow. That was a call out. And like, that's not a move that you just throw in neutral like that, so you know that was that was a um ABK call out. That's uh, that was that made me sad. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Um let's see let, let's see what Tages can do though, because this is a way closer game than it was in game one. And I feel like Tejus right now is 
punishing a little harder than they did in game one. Um, considering that they're at 135% right now, but now it's a matter of Bayo taking the stock and how um, how's it taken to do that? Um, I would hope by um, ledge trapping because Bayo can ledge trap, but <laughs> she also gets ledge trapped way harder than, you know, That's Zelda can any do. Disgusting. Okay. Um, yeah, so like, the amount of mix up that Air Swimmer has right now in the, in the arsenal is um, pretty good. And first stop to the set, um, Tejus, maybe. Maybe this can get Tejus started a little bit. That was very, just barely avoided that. That was crazy. Okay, okay. And this is. Oh! Aww. How did you. Okay. We need to talk about this. You were in that winner's quarters yeah. and you just, you just three stocked them. And you're telling me you cannot SDI a Bayo combo from 2017, bro? I'm sorry. That was good stuff by Tejus, but God bless. And That's kind just of like that, just like that, Tejus is in the lead. Okay, very nice. Oh no. No, if he kind of called that out, then that would have been a perfect ass match right there. Just like that. Very nice. Let me clip that. Somebody clip that. That, is, that was. So, um. Remember when I said maybe Tages get something started? Um, that's exactly what they, that's exactly what Tages needed. That was. That was pretty impressive. Like, talking about being down, like you were down, down. You were down bad. And you got a roof combo in 2021. That's. Uh, was, a little was there bad. anything that Tay did special to get that roof combo? Um. So the thing is, is that um, if you, I think I'm not sure um if he got the very like ending hitbox of ABK. So what that does is that that kind of puts um a lot of characters to a point where if they don't know that they can actually air dodge, then you can actually get a jump up B and you can kill them off of that. Which is something that too many people know, but yeah. That was a little bit of unfortunate SDI. You should never really SDI up consistently. Yeah, that's the hitbox I was talking about. Um, that little pop-up hitbox from ABK, but yeah. yeah. SDI yeah. down consistently, please. More more than up. God. Up is a mix-up. I don't even want to say Bermuda Triangle. Like, that was like Miami Beach during Spring Break DI. Like, that was tragic. Um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna go into this game three and smash. It was a very good Zelda stage, and um, um, I mean, to be said, Air Silver has been dominating most of the set, right? Besides that outburst from Tejus, Air Silver has dominated probably like a good percentage percentage of the set. So, uh, so yeah, already taking eighty-eight percent. And definitely gonna die for that. That the one of this is probably one of the hardest things about the Zelda matchup when it comes to Bayo is that she definitely does get ledge trapped really hard. But it's just a matter of actually learning all of the um, ledge trap situations that Zelda has. And definitely, as you were saying before, um, you know, when it comes to like patience, you definitely kind of need a little bit of patience when it comes to Zelda. Because sometimes some of her, like, fast options can kind of just, like, do some mental damage. And... Uh... Okay, SD. Um, take those. Um... But yeah, no, yeah, Zelda is definitely a wait-and-see character. Um, because if you, def if you have, like, the burst options to deal with her, and I feel like ABK is a pretty decent bur burst option against Zelda. Um... I feel like, you know, you could pick your spots properly enough, you could, you know, exploit Zelda a little bit. But, Air Summer is not letting themselves get opened up to any of those things, so... Well, that was a very nice jab, but the funny thing is, jab doesn't actually kill until like, 173% probably, oh. around there. And another call-out of ABK. Yeah, and that's pretty consistent too. And like, that move's kind of scary to call out because if you get clipped by that, Bayo's can do a pretty. Gonna die. <laughs> that's, that's just that's just gonna die. <laughs> yeah, 
Very nice call out on that um, neutral B right there, Nehru's love. And definitely not gonna, there we go. There's the SDI I was looking for. Who's the SDI? There's, there's the I wanna be in winter semis SDI. And that's I wanna, that was, that was, that was not I wanna be in winter semis DI. Um, that was, um, that was like, honestly, like besides that game, that explosion from Tejus in game two, that was a pretty dominating set. And it really goes to show you like, honestly, just the, just the pressure, just the pressure that Airstorm was putting on. And one thing you do have to realize when you're at the ledge against Zelda is that most of the time you can like just wait a little bit, right? Um, yeah. Especially when you're a character like Bayo, you have like a pretty good recovery, like upwards. You have pretty good upward mobility. Probably escape high sometimes, you know. But um, um, more so, it's kind of just like when it comes to like dealing with Zelda, you actually kind of want to make it so that you can stall your recovery enough to kind of bait out Phantom, like to come out. Like so, if like if the Phantom's just done charging, you kind of want to like stall it enough so that when you touch ledge, Phantom already comes out or is going to come out so that you can kind of be safe in the fact that like you know that it's already there and she can't charge it again for at least like you know three or four seconds i'm not sure about the timing on that but yeah it's definitely a lot of things that you kind of need to already know about this matchup in order to like really show that like this is kind of scary